Say you like camping, but you don't like sand in your tent? Get it off the ground. You don't like pine needles and mud in your tent? Heck no! Get it off the ground. I started with a Triton 4x8 trailer, flatbed. I bought one sheet of plywood and cut it into four pieces, 16 inches high. Use some angle iron in the corners and some bolts and some T-slot molding made of PVC for the top edges. I wanted the brackets on the inside, not the outside. So I had these made just out of angle iron, welded together and got a little stylish with the exterior. It's just a simple compass arrow. These side wing shelves are simply Home Depot L brackets with one piece of steel welded to them so that you can hang them on the edge of the sides. It gives you more width for your tent and a nice shelf or table space while you're camping. I also had these welded. These are going to be the hinges for the lid. You'll see how they go together here. And there's a PVC liner on the bolt. When you take that out, it gives you just enough of a lift on the lid so that these side shelves sit level with the top. It's very low in aerodynamic for travel. And holds quite a bit of gear. The latching mechanism for the lid is spring-loaded and it holds together with a pin or a padlock. And on the top is just connected to a little L bracket. There's screen door springs. The tent is a Slumberjack Daybreak 2. I chose this tent because the door is on the end, not on the sides so you can enter and exit from the rear of the trailer. It goes together quickly and has a rain fly. You can keep the rain fly back with some bungees. These side wing shelves come in handy if there's no picnic table at your campsite. The shelves store easily inside the trailer because they're about the same height as the sides. I mounted some tie downs to all four corners on the side so you can mount various configurations of awnings or anything else. Here's how it looks set up. Gives you a little sunshade or rain protection. Side shelves come in handy for cooking. Top just wedges up. I have a couple of pipes hooked up. The trailer jacks are a must on the back, otherwise when you step onto the trailer it's going to tip backward and lift the tongue right off the ground. But it stays level quite nicely this way. For comfort we've got our XPED Duo Mat 10 foam mattress that you can add air to with the pump that comes with it three or four inches thick and it's super comfortable and fully adjustable. I mounted a solar light on the back so we can see where we are at night. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Why not subscribe as well?